Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Slower Words Place FTL. Last episode, we freed some crew had to, uh, from, a, from a slaver. We additionally watched that crew member die from a terrible disease. We boarded some ships and killed everyone on board. You know, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty good episode. <laughs> uh, this episode, we're going to go to the Stolen Homeworlds and ignore the civilian sector because Stolen Homeworlds more interesting. Try to get some more crew members. Try to get to Sector 6 and board a certain amount of ships and kill all the crew. You entered Stolen Territory. The species is now renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of fair hearing. Right now, we're looking for a ship with five crew members. Sensors will actually help us with that, determining how many crew members are on board, so we should probably actually look for that. A human ship hails. My friends, please, there's nothing uh, I don't have, uh, and nothing worth wanting I can't get when I take a look around my shop. Let's, look, let's hope for something better. Solemns are pretty good, but I don't want to spend money on crew members, especially right now. No more shops. Let's upgrade our weapon system. Get some more power. Let's go here. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Salton monastery available for visit. Likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have time to visit. Let's go here, then we'll go through the nebula. The nebula's gonna really slow them down. Though we do need some more fuel, which means we need to board some more ships. There's a few more cells and custom checks than the Sultan and a team of board police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons license, but things escalate rapidly from heat discussion to gunfire. It's said to be kill five uh, crew in a fire without taking hull damage or losing crew member while losing a man's cruiser. Okay. This should actually be possible to get this achievement within a ship, because it should be, for one, a lot of soul and crew. We just got not to gain hull damage. Oh, what are you doing? Use this. Basically, as long as this bomb doesn't hit our shields, we're fine. Close all the doors. So that should be... Three to four crew member. Furs, even. Okay. Okay. As long as we're just not taking any hull damage. Everyone get back to... Okay, everyone get back to... No, okay. everyone get back in here, okay? Close all the doors. Turn on the Alex show. Don't hit my shields. That's fine. That's fine. You are a fool, and that's completely fine. Okay. Everyone back to position except for Jill and John. Get in there. Use the small bomb on the med bay. Use the basic laser on the med bay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go for their shields. Don't hit that room, please. Turn off the small bomb, please. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Keep that at bay for a second. Where the fuck is this guy? Ooh. 
Oh, there you are. I think this should be five, right? Let's go! Easy, easiest achievement of all time. Uh, don't rely on science remaining on the ship. You should have used some material. All right. You know, I had to concentrate hard on that, but maybe a little bit quiet, but we got the achievement. And that's, you know, more important to me than good content. I don't know. Uh, it's, you know, I think that is good content to an extent. It's, it's, it's okay to focus on it a little bit if it means that we get, you know, we get the, uh, get the winnings. Now we can focus on a little bit more of the commentary part. Everyone get back to position, except for Phillips. I want you to heal up, too. We could use some more power. It also got a lot of fuel, so that's good. Ugh. I'm glad we upgraded our shields when we did. I'm glad we carried into that ship. That's just pretty good. And we got a lot of fuel, too. Like, I think I've already said that, but just to emphasize, the fuel is pretty good. You can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding this year's ship. No, uh, without knowing what's out there, all you can do is wait for your FTL to recharge. We still need better weapons, too. An advanced rebel automated ship is stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. Let's get to the station. And I'm feeling better today about my commentary. Y yesterday when I was recording uh, the last uh, well, two episodes, I guess, ago now, uh, felt, felt like a little bit of a weaker episode, felt a little more out of it, like I wasn't on top of my commentary game that day. Today I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's just about, you know, continually trying to improve those skills. Okay. Well, that happened. Ouch. Can you guys get in there repair that? There's a five, five, and then we'll, we'll, we'll prepare that in a second. Let's put out that fire. Okay. I think we can hold off on the small bomb too. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Mask, right, am I right? <laughs> Very contentious topic these days. Am I right? Am I right? Ah, you, you, you're a funny guy. Focus on the uh, shields next, or even better yet, the navigation. Again, I always say it's a lot, but just soundtrack bangs. Uh, FTL is just a good game in general. Really. You know, I think like mental health plays, you know, a big part into it too with like how well your commentary skills are. I've talked about it a couple times right now. It's just, I think it's part of it because it's just the time of the year with school and <laughs> presidential elections and quarantines and stuff. But, you know, it, it definitely can take a bit of a train on you and then anything else that's going on too in your life. You know, it's, it, it they can definitely play a part. And not even just for me for commentary, but just in anyone's life for it, a lot of things. You know, so it's good to make sure you take care of yourself and make sure you give yourself enough credit. You salvage where you can from the broken ship. <gasps> That's a good weapon. The station is a storage site for military grade weapons. You find one that can be easily attached to your ship. Well, let's go. Let's go up here, even. Ah, 
The drum was look for you. Perhaps it was expanding for the rebel. Maybe it was uh, scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeing this to use the nebula for cover. Regardless, they move into they, they identify as hostiles and move into attack. Wait for the uh, ion bomb to go off. The missiles are gonna suck for a second. There seem to be Artemis, which means it's good and bad things. I think we're taking more damage over. Like, we're, we're, oh no, they'll, they'll definitely let us. Never mind. Ah, so I should be sound blessing that. Mm. Could you not right now, please? Let's go. Chill, hang in there. Chill. Heal up. Just do it. I don't care. I don't care if it's gonna take forever to recharge now. Okay, it's it's coming a little too much for that. Let's just uh cut our losses here. There's more fire. Use the iron bomb on the shields. Pull off from the basic laser. Okay, nice dodge, but not, not enough damage. Ah! F you, man. F you. Get the shields back up now. Okay, well this is going bad. Let's get the shields up. We're gonna take care of the weapons in a second here. This has been a very annoying battle, really. Close the doors, close the doors, close the doors. You gotta be shitting me with the missiles. Can you just fuck off with the missiles, please? For the love of God. Okay. I got through uh, Sangonia, finally. Uh, let's get these. Up and going. I say finally. I mean, like I've been listening through the pet, or throughout the last few days. It's not like I've been super slow on it. I'm not like even holding obligations to listen to anyone, really. But can you stop it? I'm sorry. Leave me alone. This isn't cool, guys. This isn't funny anymore. I'm seriously not having a good time, okay? Thank you for fucking off. Okay, I'm gonna keep that off for now. Focus the basic laser on the shields, please. I don't want to use another one. I don't want to have to. I don't want to do it. Turn off the med bay for now. Turn on the ion blast. Now let's get you guys actually back here. Use the ion bomb one last time. Turn this off. Turn this on. I think we finally got back in control of the situation. It sucks a lot, but we're you know we we got it. We're fine now. We are gonna be indefinitely okay. Use the ion blast on the shield. Give 
coming back to positions. Well, that really fucking sucks. The ship explodes, leaving behind scrap material. But anyway, so Stinkonia, I, I'd say, I think it's, I, I respect it a lot, as in, it did some really cool stuff with its beats. Inside, an ability to detect a huge rogue planet drifting through the space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible to the distance, even to the naked eye. A an elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you discover the great eye. Look into its depths and receive your just certs. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Oh, there goes Ken. <laughs> That's maybe not why not. As you approach, a kaleidoscope of colors fill the view screen. One of your crew members begins to age rapidly in reverse, eventually disappearing to nothingness. Let's hope they transcended physical existence and not just been forced out of it. Well... I don't actually want the crew guy, you see. Phillips, I guess you're on piloting for now. Let's go here then, the nebula. You arrive in an asteroid field and greeted by a song guard by attempting to access these mines. These closed mining fields, you're in violation of the Natural Mining Protection Act. Your rubbish will be confiscated for processing. You do not have time for this. Okay. Let's turn on the engines more. There it is. Sustainconia. I really respect what they did with some of the beats. I felt like at least for like some of them too, like they were at least trying to give it like. It didn't feel like just like a typical trap, like, or like, no, you shouldn't even say trap, because the trap's been more of like a 2010s era kind of movement for rap. But, uh, it had a little bit of, like, you know, I could definitely feel a little bit of that kind of trap in there, but it felt like, you know, like 2000s rap. It's the best way to describe it. Also, let's see. I should probably send you guys over here. Just hold on to the iron bomb. Might not need it. Okay, that's fine. Did anything too important? Oh, that's a good weapon. Let's go. You find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew stopping you, you can stall into your own. That's pretty nice. And the shields are back up too, so that's pretty good. In the meantime, you can repair this. Send you guys back over here. I guess we'll just turn off the iron blast for a second while we uh, heal you guys up. And we'll probably try to get that Mark III going pretty quick here. We need, well, only it's like two more pow weapon powers, which be fair, it's not not nothing, especially as we're trying to get more into the more expensive weapon systems. We also need some hull repair. That'd be pretty good. And we're back to positions, except for Phillips. You got you. We've got to reassign your position to the captain quarters. The captain, the cockpit, the, co the cock pilot, the cockpit, something like that. The captain's chair. Let's go here. We need to feel supply bad. You spy two power ships lurking in a nebula here. They remain on a way of your presence. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify the cargo. One's carrying fuel supply, the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Let's just secure the fuel supply. You check forward towards the pirate with the fuel supplies, engage, hopefully you can leave the ship in one piece. This guy might suck with the missile launcher, but they don't have it activated, so actually we're fine, hypothetically. Probably just like keep this off, keep this off. Let's do something like this. Get some damage on these guys. Good to see. I'm glad he just saw in here. It's gonna do damage to this guy. No, it's also gonna do damage to us. It's gonna be easy kill, and we can focus on them now. Easy. The ship 
With the ship in one piece, you're able to establish most of the fuel supply before the iron storm clears and you have to jump away. All right. All right. Let's get you guys healed up. But yeah, definitely need, some, need a shop here. But yeah, you know, uh, Stankonia. I, I, I think it, I don't think it's my. I still like AT Aliens more from Outcast. I think that's still my favorite album. This is some. It's its own personal bias of mine, but it's something about just older rap. Parts of it I don't like. Parts of it I do like. I mean, like, I think Outcast really, um, they really shined on some stuff. For one, they kind of got some more interesting ideas with their rap and talked about like you know, uh. Race politics and, uh, or I usually say race politics, but it's like, you know, I, I, you know, racial equality ideas and, uh, you know, it kind of commenting on, you know, problems that we're dealing with today, actually, way back in 2000 with, uh, with, com you know, community sh uh, strife and how people are living nowadays. Okay, we can't go there. What am I thinking? Let's go to this store. Mantis crew here have hunkered down the admin of a long dead space rail. The only way, presumably, for them to operate the black market trade without detection. Worth a look. Sensors are, would be pretty good. We don't need as much anymore now. What we could do is we could sell this. Sell this. Now we need, like, a four-power weapon or a three-power weapon. That's pretty good. Or a drone control, maybe. I don't know. Let's... We only need like one for now, really, if you actually think about it. Let's get two power so we can do this and this. We still want to get the ion bomb going, but we probably don't need it going like right now. Is this my thinking on the situation? So what we bought your fuel. What we bought some hull repairs about up to halfway. Then maybe we can save the rest for scrap. I don't know. Maybe the, we might need it for another shop or something else. If we can get a better weapon, for example. I need a better weapon. We can go like, and then we can follow like this trajectory too, to the exit. I'm feeling all right about this run. I'm feeling all right about this run. The salt ship is waiting at this beacon. They request you to see your identification, but radiation from the sun in the system is disrupting the communication. They take a silence as for aggression and move to attack. Seems like that could be like a common problem that they may want to account for within, you know, the spatial laws of this sector. Just saying. Could we hit, please? Like, Humble Mumble's really good. Uh, Toilet Tisha's really good, too, I feel like. Don't go yet. Now, we, now we're going to want to heal you guys up. Nice. What we wanted. Find a basic laser now at the med bay, please. I don't want you guys healed up, actually. We'll worry about auction in a second. In fact, we're not too worried about them even doing damage to us. So, just... You, you can repair that. They went back to position except for Phillips. You can stay here. Not down yet. Try to iron blast into weapon system. I just want to take down the missile launcher. It did not take down the missile launcher. Okay, now it did. Not there yet. Everyone get back to position. This is still not destroyed yet. You gotta be actually shitting me. We might just have to destroy the ship. How much I don't want to. Uh, we should probably turn on the oxygen. That'd be smart, right? Ah, 
should have gone for the missile launcher. This is getting ridiculous. I think I just gotta kind of forget about boarding for right now. Yeah, this is no way. This is no way. We definitely need a better weapon than the basic laser. That's that's definitely a big one. Can you get in there and help with this? Like, holy fuck. Not to me, those miss. Ah, I hate you. I hate you so much. We're gonna die for oxygen deprivation because of you. You're such a dick. Okay, anyways. Just please, stop him. Ah, I hate you so much. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Everyone, fucking repair the shields. The ship explodes leaving behind scrap material. We just recently lost, like, if we didn't get hull repair, we would have died right there. I now need to get more hull repair. You bastard. It's okay. It's okay. You know... That's how FTL goes. Some, that's the way she goes. I've been watching a lot of Trailer Park Boys too. <laughs> I, 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 got, I gotta stop watching because I've already watched like the, basically the whole series except for the animated stuff and of course the movies. But the, I, the movies are kind of like a hit or miss sometimes. Well, let's go to back to the store. Let's get some more hole repair. Cause that fucking sucked. This guy's getting rich. Let's go here, then the exit. The Solon Shipyard is stationed at this beacon. You might a display of hundreds of glowing Solon performing delicate interior, exterior work on the massive transport ship. It's pretty, that's a pretty cool image to think. That, that, that's a nice little description right there. That, that's a nice prompt. You arrive at the long range beacon when FTL drives charge, jump to the next sector. You see a, a message from a small convoy. They're looking uh, for some military supplies and uh, uh, off to prove your reactor for exchange of these supplies. Sure. Uh, you make an exchange with the team and they board, come on board to try to improve your reactor. Let's go. Let's go Bandit Sector. I just I do like the abandoned... Well, the, we could go Mantis Homeworld, get some more Mantis people, perhaps, and uh, then avoid Nebula. But I just, I just love abandoned sectors. I love them, man. They're too good. This sector was the site of many major battles between Federation and Rebel fleets. Strangely, there's very little evidence of those battles remaining. There is a store. Let's go here then, the store. Because then we can kind of go, like, here. So it's going to be cutting it close. A Federation encrypted signals being broadcast from nearby planets. Send a party to investigate. You find a secret outpost, but it appears the Rebels found it before you. You... The place is empty with faint blood stains can be seen in the living quarters. You find the encrypted signal emitter and shut it off before leaving. Like, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the last episode, but I'm uh, watching season one again, because I usually skip over it. A large transport ship undergoes maintenance, hails you. Greetings, friend. We're getting out of the sector as soon as the coolant shaft is fixed. Fit, fist, fixed. And I suggest you do the same. I half expect those damn metal freaks to come out and try to melt down our ship at any moment. We're trying to offload some inventory, interested in buying something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this store then. I thought that was buy some fuel from here. This beacon's busting with activity. Looks like some merchants decided to capitalize on the fact that dozens of refugee ships are using this location to recharge the FTL drive. You browse their wares. Not really using stealth weapons right now. Oh. This is interesting. We're not using like camera right now where stealth weapons would be really important to us, I guess, is what I'm trying to actually say. There appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, though it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted. The landing ship that has been working at it moves in to intercept you, totally oblivious to the threat of an EMP.
Nice dodge. Okay, I'm getting a little more annoyed with the dodging. Ah, oh, you gotta be actually shitting me. I need sh all three of you to get in there like, right now. We're fine now, we're fine now. Everyone get back to positions. Yeah, but usually I skip over like the first season of Trailer Park Boys, because it's, you know, it's, 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 it's the, they're, they're still trying to shape, figure out the show a little bit, I think, during that, at that point at least. They, uh, they were still trying to develop the characters a little bit more and kind of, you know, by, by season two, they really kind of perfect the dynamic between the characters, and there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. And things get a little bit more, like, crazier. A little, a little more... I don't want to say, like, I guess, like, TV-like, as or TV world-like, as in, like, there's the scenarios are a lot more uh, out there. Whereas in the first season, I felt like they try to stick to the realism part a little bit. The latest ship hails you. The translator struggles, spreading out, prevent death, merciful, pendant. You believe they're trying to surrender? Nah. That's not going to happen. But I, I don't know. This this it's almost like a charm that with the realism, with them trying to stick with that realism, that is nice to see in the first season, and it's kind of fun to see how the characters is first starting to develop. And there's even like considering like uh, the, the the you know season two definitely uh, upped the ante a little bit. But it's it, I'm sure, if, especially when the, the show was first created, that those first couple of uh, um. <laughs> The, like those first episodes were still out there like out there enough but with the context of how the other seasons went afterwards how the show progressed afterwards those the pre the first episodes seemed tame i guess what i'm trying to say say same say and i don't really am in trailer park boys but the, you know the uh uh a little bit more the first episode seemed a little more sane a little more in line with reality a little less like crazy like the later seasons see like i would say even season two get but there's something almost like a charm within that already because it's already so out there to begin with. There's some of the antics that are pulled. It's just that they upped the ante in season two, which is where the show really kind of starts to shine. The ship explodes leaving behind collection scrap material. Though still shining, I would even say, uh, through the first season and them hitting those points and like those points that make the show so great in the first place enough. It's, it's, it's almost charming seeing it with like a little bit of a held back uh, to an extent a, a little more held back compared to the later seasons I don't think they were trying to hold back to say either it's just that it felt more held back comparative to the later uh, episodes, the later seasons and how messed up <laughs> some of the stuff that they do uh, was an uh, image of some weak and hungry humans come on board your screen those metal bastards think they can just absorb half our engines and leave us out to die oh if you understand we need to take a ship by force okay everyone get here Open up all the doors except for the med bay. And now we just wait. But I I think I'll watch the anime series and be done just because I, I can't keep me watching the same show over and over. I'm looking at you, office stands. I, I, I know who you are. At least I know what your tinder profile says <laughs> it reminds me of like that trevor wallace video where they ha I, feel, I don't know who the uh other guy's name is which you know makes makes me sound like a jerk but it's so it was a jo show sketch that trevor wallace did and it was the guy that's like let's go <laughs> and he's like uh like a very i would describe him as the character trying to be like a little bit of like a simpleton in the sense that it's like very stereotypical like you know trying to be with the generation cool kind of guy but like oh you know I, I love life I love I love Netflix I love the office I love it is you know it's uh, I love surfing this is like one of the it's just that character is really good in that sketch she, I would highly recommend watching the JL show uh, if you have a chance 
The small landing craft approaches. You appear to fight, but they don't seem to be carrying any weapons. After a brief moment, they message you, although the translator struggles to an unfamiliar dialect, appears to wish to trade. I'll exchange some shown parts for scrap. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the distress beacon. Still need more fuel. The Manta ship in the system looks like a stress beacon is malfunctioning, likely due to the landing ship mining their hull and subsystems. It does not look like the Manta ship will last much longer. Attack the landing ship. The landing ships don't seem to have nose you yet, but they will. Launching into the fray, they target you. Again, we can't really attack them. I see, I hate these dodges. These dodges are kind of bad. It's bad, dude. It's bad. That hurt. That sucks. There's a fire. 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 Open up these. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Take it down. I don't want to take another three damage from this fucking missile launcher. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Dodge, dodge, dodge. It did not dodge. That that hurt so bad. It like really caused like a big lag spike for a second. Close the doors as well. I've got I've got to put back on the shields. I'm cool. Let me guess. You're gonna fire off another missile in a second, right? Bad timing for that to miss. Bad time for that to miss. Dude, we're gonna die. This keeps happening. Okay, we got we got min max a little bit more here. We got focus. Take down the shields. Come on. You can do it. Do this and do this. We're going back and forth on the shields and that. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Just keep, just keep, just keep doing what we're doing. Just keep doing what we're doing. We really need some better weapons. That's like the basic lasers is just not cutting it anymore. Like at least, like can you like give us like a burst laser mark two, or give us like a falcon at, or like a glade beam or something at the shop? This is something that. Does a lot. Like, I'd really like a Falcon. Like, because once you get that thing going, it's it, it pops. But I, I, I would also accept a Burst Laser Mark III or a uh, Glaive Beam. Hell, I might even accept like a Heavy Laser Mark II. Because of how much ion damage we're doing, we, we know we can keep shields down. thinking about it right now we might need to upgrade our weapon system and get the ion bomb going as some insurance for our ship that would get level three shields but that might not help us with missile launchers the ship explodes in behind scrap material the mantis hiss and click angry at being saved and angry at themselves for needing to be saved they part ways with some scrap metal they no longer attach to their hull and few missiles that can no longer be used okay we did get a lot of scrap from that this is not stress beacon okay Let's save the distress beacon for a second. Next off as well. Let's uh do something like this. Ooh. Ooh. You 
accept a discussion between Rebel Patrol and a human mining colony. We realize you're scared, but all these reports indicate the metal bats are targeting advanced elements only. If we, re if we relocate our fleets based on every request from backwater, wait, what's that? Before you can react, the channel is cut, and Rebel's ship moves into attack. <laughs> yeah, you fucker. Okay. Focus the ion bomb. I'm going to do ion blast. Focus the ion bomb on deck two. What how we being go? You fucker, that hurt. That actually really hurt. You fucker. That ag you bastard. I hate you. I hate you! Please, please charge. Please charge fast enough. Please charge fast enough. We cannot die. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we're fine now. We're, we're, we're safe. Not healing, so that's good. Are you fighting someone too? You are, okay. Bring you guys and heal you up. Focus the Iron Blast on a shield for a second. We killed two of the crew members to save, to save the Iron Bombs. I have to like really concentrate right now. <laughs> I'm really trying hard here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to position as well. Turn off the basic laser. With no more crew, with all, I mean, with all the crew dead, you're able to take the field out of storage, all scrap what you can manage. So I'm getting a little bit quiet right there, you know, I'm just, just a little scared right now. A little on health, you know, it's, it's not saying I can't manage it. It's just saying I need to put a little bit extra brain power uh, that would be going into uh, commentary into instead keeping us alive shop no shop let's go here then distress we're gonna die i think though like we're, we're not looking the best the federation inside crafts is docked with a few lanian ships you hail them asking what's going on greetings you've been attempting to understand the, our region's newest visitors the lanians although we've making a little headway in deciphering their language let's ask if they have anything they can help with our mission we use drones frequently in our work and have extra parts lying around they transfer over some parts and you thank for generosity Let's go. Okay. Let's also get this repaired too. Also, let's get you guys healed up. That might be a pretty good idea. And now we're waiting. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. Turn this off, turn this on, and let's get on to the distress. So it's something where we don't we don't have to take all damage. When you get to the beacon, you quickly try to locate the source of the distress call. As you're looking, the signal bleaks out, and then you notice a small fleet of scavenger ships absorbing debris from a large battle nearby. You can't help but wonder where the distress signal came from, but you set out to risk uh, pursuing the fleet. Okay. Let's get to this, and then the exit. And that's probably where we'll call it. 
Hopefully we won't die. Maybe we'll die here. Who knows? A pirate ship emerges from hiding after you. Another ship jumps to the system. Sentry showed a pirate ran a quick scan of your ship and weapon system before flying off pursuing the unarmed civilian ship. I don't like the flak. But you know what, man? You charge your weapons and you quickly uh, get the pirate ship's attention. Do you see Ion Bomb on the, uh... Okay, nice dodge. We needed that bad. <sighs> we should have not gone for this. We might be dead. Oh, let's go. Don't count me out yet. Don't count me out yet. Okay. You know what? Just do it. I, I can't. I can't risk it. Okay, go for the med bay now. Turn back on the oxygen. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Barely, but we're, we're fine. Okay, it's okay. It's a little less okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, you guys can get out there now. Get out there. Move. Let's go. No more lights on detected on the pirate ship. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Apparently, there's a ship that's being salted with a science vessel. They thank you and offer a small reward. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, they... <laughs> We survived that. We're only taking one hall damage. Like I said, we need to find a shop pretty soon here, because taking one hall damage is kind of expected at this point. We still need more crew members, too. Oh, God. You arrive at the long-range beacon when you have to heal Travis Charge, you jump to the next sector. You arrive at the sector and greeted by a science vessel waiting at the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves in, on low on field and have a proper position. We're going to check that offer. And well, I don't know. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to the filling sector. We're gonna see if there's like a shop near the entrance. Because I do wanna get that if it's possible. Then we'll call it there if it's no shop, or if there's a shop, we'll go to the shop, heal up, then call it there. Get, welcome to the new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels can catch up. Shh, no shop. All right, that's where we're calling then. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, hopefully we make it next episode. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Peace out.